Ladies, ladies, I'm here on that shit. I'm so pissed off. The NFL news video I just uploaded, I had to freaking delete it because I guess I had my mic plugged in or something. I guess the audio wasn't on. Pendejo face. I'm freaking pissed off. 12 minutes of 12 minutes of that for nothing. 12 minutes of my life. I'll never get back, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh, stupid technology. Not part of the freaking nerd community. Ugh, fuck this shit. But let's talk about some NFL news here. A few more things. Um, came out after the video I talked about, so let's just get into it. Enough of me ranting about the freaking nerd community. Freaking technology. <sighs> Fuck this shit. Uh, let's get into it here. So, Nikhil Harry's a former college head coach, uh, Herm Edwards, says he was successful in the NFL because he had, quote, too many followers and because he went to the hashtag Patriots. They at Mass Live Boston. He had too many followers, man. That's what killed him. That poor kid. He had hanger, hanger owners. Owners. What? And, I, and it was like, come on, Nikhil, because talent wise, he's got enough talent. He's a big, strong, physical receiver to catch the ball. And then he went to New England. That that was the worst place for him to go because it didn't fit him. That didn't fit him. I mean, was it, he, I, mean, I won't say he was that talented. Second, was, was a kind of random story. Dog. He had Tom Brady's QB. Let's not act like he, he landed. Let's not act like where he landed was why he wasn't good. He's just not good. And it's not because. Uh, too many followers. That's that's stupid. He just wasn't good. Simple. Uh, trending. Washington wide receiver Rome Odunze is a bigger version of Devontae Adams. A longtime hashtag NFL scout said to help shelter report. Whew. He's Devontae Adams to me. The bigger watchers releases a lot of scrimmage to some of his basketball football fans by basketball footballers. Adams. Adams. Rome's a classic X. He's a day one star. I mean, I could have, I mean, I could see him being like a Devontae Adams. That would, that would be a good comparison. I, I think he'd be the best receiver in the draft. Either him or Malik Neighbors. Uh, rumors. Hashtag Bears head coach Matt Eberfluss wants the team to add a pass rusher opposite of Montez Sweat. Larry Mayer said on the team's official website. That's a logical move. I feel like Jared Verser... Uh, La Leia to uh, La La to could be a bear with the knife pick. Uh, that's what they could do with the knife pick. He's more of a defensive coach, so I can definitely see La to at the knife pick. And I don't know if Joe Alt would be there at nine. There's a good chance he could be, but I don't think he will. And they need to get a pass rusher opposite Montez Sweat. Uh, rumors. The hashtag Broncos and hashtag Vikings are two teams that could try trading to the top ten of the hashtag NFL draft per at rap sheet. I mean, both teams have a huge need, obviously. Quarterback, you remember Kirk Cousins, he, who's having one of the best seasons of his career at the start of the year, gets that torn Achilles, out for the year, and now, and then he leaves in the offseason, goes to Atlanta Falcons on a, I believe, a four-year, $150 million deal. And then the Broncos, Russell Wilson, that trade, that failed, one of the worst trades in NFL history. Um, they let him go, have $80 million in dead cap now. But they let go of Russell Wilson, so they need to draft a quarterback. I feel like one of these, both of these, one of these two teams could get Russell or Russell Wilson, Pendejo face. I could get JJ McCarthy. Uh, I'm on uh, Jim Harbaugh, and I don't, care, I don't give a shit. Uh, trending. Whoever drafts Michigan quarterback JJ McCarthy could be getting a quote Kirk Cousins for the next decade, says at M Farrell Sports. That's disrespectful to Kirk Cousins comparing him to J.J. McCarthy. Whoever trades up to get him at number four, and someone likely will, and that GM should get fired on spot, could be getting a Kirk Cousins type for a decade. So no rings and and uh, sucks on primetime games. Don't think it'll want to be uh, the next Kirk Cousins. Top 10 quarterback just sucks on primetime games. But McCarthy has more natural talent than Cousins did coming out of college. Na natural talent? Uh, where's that natural talent? Oh, handing the football off. Wow, that's so impressive. But they play similar games and are great at running a balanced offense. Just stop. Kirk's way better than this dude. J just get out of here. 
Nah. I'll believe it when I see it. If J.J. McCarthy proves me wrong, he proves me wrong. But Michael Penix is closest to Kirk Cousins, very younger Kirk Cousins. McCarthy is just a very average prospect. So Sean Ray or season disappear in the playoffs. I don't know if I want to be Kirk Cousins though for the next ten years. One playoff win. Ugh. Kirk Cousins is good, but I don't know if I want to be Kirk Cousins with one playoff win. Uh, Dave's line and Eddie, Eddie Goldman, a uh, Goldman, is coming out of retirement, signing with the hashtag Falcons per at rap sheet. And the Falcons decided to pass on Jalen Carter last year, and now decide someone decide someone who has been retired. The Falcons aren't a serious organization. I mean, Goldman is solid. He signed with Land two years back, but decided to retire two weeks after signing. It's like his third time coming back. I don't think it'll be good for him. A per report, Matt Miller has yet to speak with a team that has Michael Penix Jr. as a first-round pick in this year's draft. Age and injury concerns could play a part in this. Penix is the guy with the biggest variation between the public and teams. I haven't talked to one team that says, hey, we got to get him in the first round. The NFL hasn't been great at uh, assessing QB talent. They, I feel like they've missed way more than they've hit the last few years. And I believe in Penix that more now than ever because you know how they hype up these quarterbacks like in the top of the draft. Like, oh, they're going to be generational. They're going to be generational. Like Trevor Lawrence. Um, Zach Wilson, Trey Lance, and they've missed, missed. I believe in Penix. I think it could be a late first round pick, middle, middle, middle first round, late first round, and I think he could be one of the top quarterbacks in this class. I feel like people are just not respecting Michael Penix. I, I mean Penix, excuse me. I mean, yeah, he had all those weapons this year, but I mean, you got you still got to be accurate with the football. I know he was pretty much all year. I know he's had injury issues, but I would still take a risk. I mean, if it's late first round, I'd take a risk. Or maybe middle of the first round, I mean, it's worth it. Like, if, I, if I'm the Denver Broncos, I, I'm, I'm taking Michael Penix or Bo Nix over J.J. McCarthy. J.J. McCarthy will be gone for the I bet. Uh, so, well, now we got a follow-up to Rasheed Rice. Perry Report. Hashtag Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice has admitted to being involved in the car crash that injured multiple people on Saturday per TMZ Sports. Rice owned the Corvette that was involved in the crash and leased the Lambo of a, from a company called The Classic Lifestyle. Rice was in the Lambo at the time of the crash and according to the leasing agreement, he's the only person who was permitted to drive the car. Uh, he messed up. I mean, I can't really say he messed up because these dudes rarely, these type of dudes rarely get fairly punished for their actions. Well, Henry Rose is different because he killed someone. And yeah, Rasheed Rice almost killed two people. But that's not going to do de- jail time for almost killing two people. He'll probably at least get like a three, four game suspension. That's probably it. But then just know in the NFL. Uh, but NFL wideouts are just so reckless when it comes to driving cars. Like, I don't get it. You're going to race in a freaking highway. Or wherever the hell they were. I don't... Fleeing an accident is a felony. I don't think... Actually, I don't think it is in Texas. Um, I don't think it is in Texas, though. I don't know what will happen. Whatever happens, I'll, I'll follow up in the NFL news. Another NFL video. A party report the Saskatchewan Rough Riders of the Canadian Football League have added Chase Claypool to their exclusive negotiation list per at 3 Down Nation. This doesn't mean Claypool is going to be going to the CFL, just that if he does, then the Rough Riders will have the first chance to sign him. He is Canadian, so it would make sense to go to the Canadian Football League, but man, what a fall off for Chase Claypool from the NFL, the Steelers. They were leaving O that COVID year. They fell off, and now Chase Claypool's clearly falling off. He might have to freaking go to the Canadian Football He might go to the Canadian Football League. But now face. Uh, the hashtag Colts are re-signing safety Julian Blackman. Uh, good move. Honestly. In my opinion, I think it's a good move. Now the hashtag Chase are re-signing running back Clyde Edwards to layer in a one-year deal per at rap sheet. Uh, so... Uh, per your report, the Seahawks are signing veteran free agent wide receiver LaVisca Chenault per his agent. Uh, with the Commanders, it's a coin toss right now. Who will dra- draft at number two with uh, of the latest odds? The latest odds give Drake May the slight edge over Jane Daniels. Drake May's odds go number two at a, or at a plus 105. Jane Daniels' are, odds go number two at, or at a plus 115. I think they'll end up taking uh, Drake May with the second pick. So the Bears, uh, they want to have a free agent visit with with what's now Jets receiver Mike Williams. But he was in Paris at that time, so it couldn't really happen. 
pretty much. And all my all my stuff here, being from JPA Football, by the way, credit to him on uh, Twitter. And a Sky Cruz, Cruz Sports, a Bears journalist, and all the other sources like Rap Sheen, all them, gonna give some credit. Um, but they quickly pivoted to Keenan Allen when they learned they couldn't, when they could actually get him trade. They trade like a fourth round pick to get him. I think they made the right choice. They made the better move because Keenan Allen, in my opinion, is a better receiver than Mike Williams. He's more consistent every year. He's uh, on the field most of the time. He's not injury prone like Mike Williams. I think the Bears made the right move. Uh, rumors: The Chiefs, Chargers, Dolphins, Lions, and 49ers all have shown preliminary interest in free agent wide receiver Tyler Boyd. The Steelers were in negotiations with him, like I talked about, but it seemed like he's falling apart, and it basically fell apart. Mahomes would somehow make him good. I don't think he's worth the money, and I think the issue is he's probably asking for too much money to go be wide receiver two or three somewhere else. He's just asking for too much money. It seems like. Uh, the Vikings are preparing for a potential scenario where they start Sam Darnold in 2024. <laughs> uh, and look to the 2025 QB class for a new starter, says at Cypher ESPN. They're preparing for the possibility of riding with the offseason free agent edition Sam Darnold in 2024. And regrouping with either a quarterback drafted with a lower pick or perhaps a look ahead to the 2025 quarterback class. And quote from TPP Skull. Or, oh my lord. If they have to stick with Sam Darnold, I feel bad for you Jets fans. Or, excuse me, Vikings fans. Just like the Jets fans went through with Sam Darnold. Hopefully the Vikings don't have to as well. Sure, they're going to draft a quarterback. Uh, Romeo Dunze, rumors here, has a top 30 visit with the Jets tomorrow, per Schultz report. If they had him, they're always going to be deadly. But I have a feeling he'll go before 10. Jets QB Aaron Rodgers earned $81.14 uh, uh, cents through the NFL's performance-based pay system, the lowest, among, lowest amount among all NFL players offseason. He played three snaps, more people expecting, or four snaps, excuse me. Per your report, LSU wide receiver Malik Neighbors is visiting with the Cardinals and Chargers tomorrow, and sometimes views the wide receiver one in this class so to meet with him. A per your report, uh, Falcons quarterback Taylor Heineke agreed to a pay cut that will keep him with the team for next season and be their backup. So some interesting things for the Colts here. The Bears are planning to split their staff into teams to demand what they should do with a ninth pick. We're going to do some cool things where we get back, kind of breaking the teams. One team is going to talk about why the tackle position is the best to go after, why the receiver is the best, why the defense is the best, and use factual information to spit that out. And we'll have a debate in terms of what's more impactful for our football team, short term, and long term. Uh, hold up, this is kind of awesome. Behind the behind the scenes footage will go crazy. I mean, I know most of the teams do this most likely, but the Bears, but Bears fans are extremely unfamiliar with a smart genius. So I think this, I think this is smart. Uh, the Vikings are spending are suspending offensive coordinator West Phillips for three games uh, for a D for a DWI in case you're running driving driving DWI in case you're running driving while intoxicated. Uh, the Chiefs are saying free agent quarterback Carson Wentz to a one year deal to be their backup. So, uh, the Eagles are signing safety Reed Blankenship to an extension that keeps him with the team through the 2025 season. So he'll be staying. Um, prayers uh, for Vontae Davis' family, uh, who reportedly passed away at the young age of 35 yesterday. He was found deceased uh, in his home. I'm not going to bring up how he quit mid game few years ago. That doesn't really matter. Uh, passed away yesterday, uh, unknown. He just they found him deceased. So way too young, man. Thirty-five years old. Uh, the Patriots drafting JJ McCarthy at number three was quote buzzing at his pro day. Says Tony Pollard, de facto general manager Elliot Wolf, is pushing hard for McCarthy as he believes he has much upside as, key, as any quarterback in the draft. Oh my lord. He's not a he's not a first round talent. I don't care what anybody tells me. It would be a surprise rumors if JJ McCarthy doesn't go top four in this year's draft as an NFL draft scout. This would be a hell of a reach. That should be an April Fool's joke. Uh, but yeah, that's really all to say for this NFL news. This one's actually the audio is actually on this time, uh, ladies and gentlemen. The audio's actually on. That's all for say here. So until next time, I have a lot. Peace. And I have the Dodgers. Giants recap game two of 
at Diamondbacks Yankees. Didn't do, didn't do game one last night. I fell asleep. I'll do game two. And then the Warriors matter tonight. So I'll say tonight. So I'm out. Peace.